During the Second World War, the 20mm Orlikon automatic cannon was widely used as an anti-aircraft gun on ships of the American and British navies. The Orlikon 20mm gun had a wide range of projectiles. In the video we will look at two types of ammunition. These are MK3 high explosive and MK4 and 7 high explosive with tracer. Propellant charges are assembled with primer and powder enclosed in a cartridge case. Point detonating fuse MK26 Mod 0 consists essentially of the following parts, the nose or body unit, into which is fitted the rear disc or air channel, and the closing unit, which contains the detonator. The MK3 high explosive projectile does not contain a tracer, unlike the MK4 and 7 projectile. Overall tracer burning time of is 4 seconds. The point detonating fuse MK26 Mod 2 consists essentially of two pieces, main body and the magazine, which contains the same detonator used in the fuse MK26 Mod 0 and an additional booster of tetral below the lead azi detonator. The fuses has no safety features in its design, but it will withstand a 40-foot drop onto armor plate without detonation. When firing, these fuses will not detonate on water impact, but they will detonate on 0,125-inch mild steel. Artillery shells provided effective protection at a distance of up to 1.5 kilometers. The disadvantage was insufficient stopping power against heavy aircraft and Japanese kamikaze attacks. This was the reason for replacing the 20mm Orlikon gun with the Bofors 40mm gun. Also meets the requirement for high rate of fire, Orlikon developed power reserve loading action, introducing a gas-operated mechanism to unlock the breach. The gun produced this design after the close of hostilities of World War II, and was called the 5TG, presently Cobb. In the MK26 Mod 0, the nun cap is crushed on impact, causing the air in the air channel to be compressed and forced through the hole in the concave disc. This action generates sufficient pressure and heat to set off the very sensitive lead azide detonator beneath the disc. In the Mod 2, there is no air channel or disc, and the fuse is fired entirely by the shock of impact. The very sensitive detonator will be set off by the shock of impact, and it, in turn, will set off the magazine of tetral beneath it. Also, to meet modern safety requirements, including long-range cocking distances, the MK26 fuse was replaced with the M505. You can see how the M505A3 fuse works on my channel. Link in description under this video. Thank you for watching my video.